welcome back to Tamaron's Tactics. This is AI War Fleet Command Gameplay Tutorial Part 27. There was a few things that I had neglected to mention when we were doing our turrets in that last video, and that's that we've been sort of letting our decloaking go by the wayside. Okay, We should put a stealth tachyon beam emitter right next to the Shalonki gate, so if anybody enters into Venumity, we can see them. We should also put a hardened force field generator over this Hasbang gate, which enters into our territory. Of course, under support, there's that. And then we can put the standard uh, tachyon beam emitter there, because it'll be under the force field. Okay, We can't do one in Hasbang unless we put a mobile builder there, and we do happen to have two of those right there in the next system of murder. So let's send them over to Hasbang. I'll unpause and allow them to go. Here in murder, we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to zoom in on those gates. We're going to grab the stealth tachyon beam emitter, and we'll just put one next to each of these warp gates. Same thing in Alhuzer. Oh, here actually already has them. Over that gate, not over this gate. Okay. It's important to be consistent and have it over all your gates, right? Now, there's another thing that I had made a mistake on. Recently, we had talked about getting rid of old turrets we didn't need anymore. And one of the systems we did that in was Alhizer, which is right next to our homeworld. And the thinking there was that since we've blocked it off here so nicely, they're not going to really get in here and worry about it. But look at Alhizer. The warp gates are way over here, and our potential defenders are way over here. So if enemy ships were to go in here and get over to this point and then decloak, they would have plenty of time to attack, perhaps, and take out the advanced factory in Alhuzer. Now, the advanced factory, you could argue, is the second most important building in my entire empire besides my home base. Okay, It's what lets me build the Tier 4 ships. So really... I'm, I was thinking, as I watched the last video, you know, we are not protecting that, that uh, advanced factory very well, okay? And this should be protected extremely well, all right? So let, let's do that. I'm going to hit B, and we're going to replace the turrets here. I realize I already paid for them and deleted them once. It's not a big deal. They don't cost that much, okay? And we're gonna just going to do it. I'm going to put all the, all the missile turrets there. There's the MLRS turret. I'm making sure that they wrap around the back of the base there, right here. You see? They're wrapping around the back. This is going to leave us a little bit short on energy, but it, we absolutely cannot lose that advanced factory because we would lose our, our tier 4 ships, and that would be a major blow to us. Okay. Now, I could also put the tier, the tier 5 turrets here, but that would be a little bit much. We don't necessarily need that. I guess I wouldn't mind having the sniper turrets out here and back. Notice our energy is very low, so as I click, it's going to take a lot of our energy to put those out. So let's go ahead and build a couple of extra matter converters at home. I've got five. I'm just going to build two more. Econ matter converter, which is a terrible deal. Okay, you don't want a lot of these, but there's two more just to help pay for turrets. Now, we just recently captured Venumity, and we have built the energy collector there. Okay, so it, when we capture our next system, it'll give us another energy collector, which will, you know, get us out of that energy debt, provided we don't turret it too much. Okay, we've got a little bit of metal. We've got a little bit of a metal income now, so we can afford to do that, I think. All right, we can't lose the advanced factory. Let's go ahead and just put a second force field over it as well. So let's grab the lightning turrets and the flak turrets. I'm going to delete them. It's okay to revise your buildings here. It's not a big deal. I'm going to go to support, grab a hardened force field, and I'm just going to put two hardened force fields around that, that advanced factory. It's safe now. Okay, Nothing's going to get in there. Even if a whole bunch of ships come in here, uh, get, manage to get this far into my empire and hammer that, with that many turrets there and that many force fields, they're not going to be able to get through. It'll be okay. All right. Can't ever lose the advanced factory. So now that that's done... Oh, and we also need to do it here in Ropley. I'm going to drop our, our uh, tachyon emitters here. The stealth tachyon beam over the Pelea gate, over the Jodre gate, and the Jasikro gate. Over here in Jetherfen, we also have a few gates here that we should do that on. We've got nine more stealth tachyon beam emitters we can put out. So there's one over the Murdoch, over the Joe Murder over the Dusikro. Okay? We still got six left and then ten of the un ten of the non cloaked versions. So we still have lots to work with. Okay. That'll give us really good defense against any sort of sneak attack in here, and it's going to ensure that that advanced factory does not face any sort of attack. All right. Now, since we have 13,000 science at this point, 
we're pretty far into the game at this point. Uh, it's almost five hours in, four hours and 44 minutes into the game. Okay, so our next move is going to be to move our fleet in to take over Murdoch, and hopefully we'll be in a position after we capture Murdoch that we can just go one, two, three, and attack the enemy homeworld. Okay. Let's spend some, some of, this, of this knowledge. We don't need to bank it anymore. I've been banking it so that I can counter the enemy's moves, but now I'm ready to just have stronger ships. Okay, so I'm going to hit S for my science lab. There's one here in Ralphley. There we are. And I'm going to unlock the tier two, three, and four rail pod. Okay, those rail pods have worked really, really good for us so far. That's going to be a really big improvement in the strength of our fleet and our ability to hit across the, the gravity well of the planet. Okay, so that leaves us still with 6,000 6, knowledge. But hey, let's go to the map and hit K. We still haven't collected any knowledge from Jetherfen. So let's go to Jetherfen and hit B to build something. And I'm going to go to Econ. There's the science lab. And we'll put that science lab underneath the force field. That'll give us 3,000 more science. Okay. Important. They're not ours. Okay. So now I've got our 10 transports. I'm going to move all of them to Jetherfen. Where our ships are just going to pass through to Jetherfen. And then once they arrive at Jetherfen, we'll rally and, and uh, make a plan so that we can attack Murdoch. That's the last core shield generator. And once we can take out Murdoch, then we'll be able to, to um, uh, uh, launch an attack on the enemy homeworld. Okay? So that's going to be the end of this video. Again, you're watching Tamaron's Tactics. My name is Nuck Tamaron. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the continuation of this gameplay tutorial series.